Um, yeah, I just want to say, you know, thank you to Coach Patterson and the organization, you know, for giving me this opportunity. Um, you know, my trainers and my coaches at Pittsburgh, you know, for getting me prepared for this moment, you know, and I just want to say, you know, I'm ready to be a Viking and ready to dominate. It's definitely a blessing, you know, to be in this position, to be able to play at this level coming where, where I come from, you know, and I'm just happy to be a part of that 1%. All right, Thomason. Yeah, how's it going? Hey, um, how you doing? Yeah, uh, Jones, your teammate from Pittsburgh, was drafted in the third round last night. Uh, you had a chance to touch base with him. And what do you think of uh, two Panthers now potentially creating havoc on the Vikings line? Um, it's definitely a blessing, you know, being, a, being able to play with Pat. Again, you know, it's something that I was hoping and praying for when I was getting interviewed by the Vikings, you know, and I know we were two potential prospects. So um, I've just been keeping my fingers crossed, being able to, you know, reunite with one of my brothers, whether that was Rashad Weaver or Patrick Jones, you know, and it's a blessing to be able to chase quarterbacks down with Patrick again. Hey, Jalen, you opted out of the 2020 season. What was your reasoning behind that? Uh, my reasoning, you know, was to take care of my mom and my two little brothers that I'm responsible for. Uh, financially, you know, just trying to make ends meet. And, um, you know, I had, to, I had to do so in Pitt family first at the time. But, you know, I'm just blessed, you know, to be drafted. So, you know, we, we don't have to worry about those financial problems anymore. So, uh, Jalen, what has this last year been like for you then? I mean, how have you kind of balanced getting ready for this moment with uh, the other things family-wise that, that you had to deal with? Um, you know, I've just been staying uh, focused and, you know, my mom and my dad have been keeping me in good spirits, you know, and my trainer, Sean Washington, we've just been training nonstop ever since I opted out, you know, September 1st, I've been training ever since. So just trying to get ready and put my best foot forward when the time will come. Any more questions for Jalen? Jalen, uh, I saw a stat that when well, your last time you did play, you were the first pit defensive lineman to notch double digit sacks since Aaron Donald. That's obviously some pretty elite company. What did that mean to you uh, achieving, a, achieving an accomplishment like that that season? Um, being as though, you know, Aaron Donald is my favorite player, being able to, you know, even have my name in the talks of his was definitely a blessing, you know, but um I was just trying to be competitive and be the best that I can be. So it was definitely a blessing to be able to do that. Chris? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, question about uh, Patrick Jones drafted by the Vikings. Uh, I mean, tell us a little bit about him. And is he a guy that potentially could come in and even start as a rookie? You know, they got a potential spot open there at the other defensive end spot uh, other than Daniil Hunter. Um, yes, sir. Yeah, Patrick, man, he's a dog. Um, he understands the game. You know, we come from the same coach, Coach Partridge, who taught us a lot of stuff. Um, you know, he's the per he's one of those persons that was carrying me on through practice and telling me certain things, how to learn and stuff like that. You know, just watching him and him learning from me, you know, we piggybacking off of each other is the reason for both our success. So I definitely got faith in Patrick. Hey, Jalen, I mean, I know that um, at your size, you're considered a slightly little bit undersized for your position, maybe projecting best as a three technique in the NFL. How do you feel like your ability as a pass rusher could help you carve out a role in this defense, um, just given what you've been able to demonstrate throughout your college career, in spite of not having necessarily the size of somebody who might be a little bit bigger? Um, I mean, you know, today's you know, traditional 4-3-D tackles are my size, you know what I mean? So those three techniques, some that I, I feel like I specialize in uh, is my size, you know, Aaron Donald, Grady Jarrett, um, Geno Atkins, John Randall, you know, those type of guys are usually my size. So I don't try to look at, you know, if I was 6'4", you know what I mean? Because I know I use my advantage to my best. Congratulations. Uh, I know you already answered about Patrick, but um, you were red shirt when Brian O'Neill was still on campus with uh, Pittsburgh. And I was just wondering uh, if you guys have stayed connected over the years since he's gotten up here. 
Uh, yes, sir. Um, when I was on scout team, when Brian was, you know, about to enter the draft, um, you know, him getting me ready for those down blocks and him showing me how to, you know, be a leader on the team has definitely molded me. Uh, him and some great other players have molded me to be a, a great teammate and stuff like that. And, you know, I've been talking to Brian over these last couple of weeks and Thanks. it's definitely a blessing to be around him because I know he's one of the guys that he will push me and also help me keep my head on straight. Andrew? Hey, Jalen, you just mentioned opting out to take care of your family. What was it like today, hearing your name called and kind of realizing that dream finally? Um, you know, getting a call from, you know, all the coaches, man, it was definitely a blessing and a relief, you know, to be able to, you know, get another chance at something that I love to do. Any final questions for Jalen? Did you uh, did you have any odd jobs over this last year? I worked. I used to work at McDonald's. So uh, what did you do? Um, no, nah, man, I was just training, you know, getting ready and um, working with my trainer, you know, and at House of Athletes, so just getting better.